And then I think, you know, we need to kind of link with the climate change issue and particularly how to build a just economy. Uh, and so the whole question of where do people in the defense sector get jobs, I think can be largely answered if we are restructuring our economy, building new industries, um, weatherizing our homes, all kinds of things that involve um, taking care of the planet. Uh, and so I, I think that that connection could be made stronger as a as a larger, uh, longer term goal. Um, although we shouldn't wait too long. Yeah, I, I also don't have all the answers as someone who sits with spreadsheets, but um, but one of the things I do with my spreadsheets is try to make sure that you know every number I come up with is useful to somebody like the Poor People's Campaign. Um, and so I just think um, local organizing is so important and I, I think you want to be involved locally, but if you can be involved locally and also connected to a bigger effort where other people are working on this toward the same things, then it's much more powerful. Um, so I would say, you know, if your Friends Committee on National Legislation is one, um, One Without War is, is also one, the Poor People's Campaign is also one, Sunrise Movement is also one where it's very local, but it's also tied into a larger um, thing where other people are also working on the same thing and that kind of coordination is really powerful and important and that's why we saw you know amazing pictures of young people all over the world at climate strikes yesterday um, so I think that is that's my big one um, and then also you know like take care of yourself don't don't get so mad don't watch MSNBC like just keep your energy up keep your hope up um, uh, so that you can so that you can be effective so that you can do do this work which is hard okay um, yeah so I guess I just want to share how important it is to connect with your community and know what what you want someone else in your community wants and if you're trying to get it done you just have to connect put those two people together so I guess and Along with that, enabling like the youth. I, I know I'm like biased in saying that, but I wouldn't be where I am today if it weren't for a church in my hometown who said, yeah, you can have your meetings here, who said, yes, we'll listen to what you're going to say. So enable that those voices of change and plug these people in who are willing to work hard and who are passionate for a change. Plug them in. Give them an opportunity to make the change. Um, and find where you can plug in. We each have a skill, and we each... You know, there isn't a skill that we do not have. Collectively, there is nothing we cannot do. We just have to connect and coordinate and organize. So the answer is to organize. Yeah. Um, for me, the best thing that we can do right now is what she just said. Um, is get behind the youth of the planet, the entire planet right now. All of us need to get behind the youth and listen to them because they're not going to allow this to go on any further. Like, they're just not. They're ready for a new system. They're in the streets. They're energized. So um, getting behind the youth on the entire planet is find, find out how you can help them, give them a ride to the church, um, offer your space to them. Um, food's a big deal when you're in a space with kids. Um, share some food, share some love. Uh, revolutionary love where everybody's at the table share that um, the poor people's campaign gives me a whole lot of hope uh, but so that that in that sense there's a lot going on for people to plug into and um, and move forward and push this forward uh, we just don't we don't have a choice so I'm glad we're here at this conversation and I'm hoping that people are gonna go home to their community and teach everybody there that have these conversations. Sit them down and be like, hey, we had this panel and we talked about this. How can we plug in? How can we as a community right here make a difference? And that's going to be the biggest change if we all go back to our communities. Uh, 
Uh, well, gosh, I'm going to sound a little bit like a broken uh, record, but uh, hey, uh, listen to the youth. Like, seriously, like, they are trying to make this stuff intersectional. They are trying to, like, make this, like, make these things um, create the connections between the Green New Deal and, de like, demilitarizing. Like, you know, we've been talking about how those things aren't connecting. They are connecting, and it's because of these young people and about how, who they're centering, too. You know, they, like, I was up there, and... We spent uh, at our US, our climate strike in Washington D.C. The first hour was Indigenous people, the people who had this land first, and you know should have the most say in how this land is used in the future. So you know that that's the type of stuff they're doing, and that's what we need to continue to uh, to follow. Um, and then also, you know, I'm just in my daily job, I, I'm incredibly lucky that I get to think a lot about solutions. And I get to talk to a lot of people who are, are putting the solutions in place and are getting ready for the next system, right? So like plugging in to like where people are actually building the next system already that we want to be invested in um, so that like when the time comes and we have we have those redirected funds and monies, we know, like, we know what to implement, implement it and we can get off the ground running. Because also those same spaces are incredible organizing spaces, as, as we've already talked about today. It's where the community is coming together. It's where they're demanding more, and they're, they're coming up with like large-scale plans so that we can start to shift this stuff. So thank you. It's a daunting prospect. It gives some new ideas. We just heard so many good ideas from so many people who know what they're talking about. Um, I'd just like to point out that when the earlier part of my career, when I was able to travel much more than I can now, um, I would frequently come across small groups in different places who would be somewhat working on peace issues and related issues, who would be somewhat dispirited because they would say to me, well, we're doing this, but no one else is doing mm -hmm. this. And that's not true. And one of my functions used to be to say, when I was in St. Louis, that's not true. There's a group in Phoenix doing this. There's a group in so-and-so. So I think connecting with other groups in other places, making them aware of what you're doing, and also drawing into what they may be doing, even just to support each other. You know, I think sometimes people push uh, arguing against singing to the choir. Is it singing to yeah. the choir? Preaching. Preaching. <laughs> I know I almost did. <laughs> And not quite preaching to the choir. Well, some of that's necessary. We have to we have to energize each other in order to get things done. One other thing is that this all of these problems we're working on they may be solved tomorrow, but I wouldn't bet on it. They're probably long long haul issues. And if you're going to be in something for the long haul, you have to be sure that you match your personality and your situation to the particular way you choose to con contribute to this movement, let's call it a movement in general. That is to say, if, if you're doing something that is at right angles to your personality, for instance, I couldn't be an organizer. I don't know how to organize. And I'm too shy to knock on doors and talk to people that way. So if I were trying to do that, I would have been out of this game years ago because I'm frustrated and burned out. But instead, I chose another avenue for to try to develop policy to work, function as an academic, talking about these issues. And that feels much more like it suits me. So I can stay with it. I have been with it for more than 40 years now. And that's what I suggest to you. Don't just do, and then one of the other, I think you said, don't just pick something and do it. Try to find, think about what your personality is like, what you're able to do, what you like to do, the way you like to do things and connect with that. In a sense, there are no experts in what we're dealing with. Um, we're at a particular place in time, so every idea that you have that you want to generate and share out here may shift the conversation in ways we don't understand as we begin this conversation.